Hello and welcome to Zenotic Consulting's Beginner Series. Uh, this video in particular is going to be the third in our series on Zoho Learn. Um, Zoho Learn, of course, is Zoho's Learning Management System, or LMS. Um, before we get started, I do want to thank you, of course, for checking out this video and supporting our channel. Um, if you do find it useful, please click that like and subscribe button below as that really helps us out and it'll make sure that our videos show up for you when we put out new ones. Um, and with that, let's get right into it. So in this video, we're going to be covering uh, the kind of learning piece of Zoho Learn. Um, so this is the ability to create courses and quizzes um, that your team members can take. In our previous videos, we talked through creating the spaces, manuals, and articles. Um, so if you do want to create some kind of open source or general learning material, please go check those ones out as those will get you started there. Um, but so we'll go ahead and jump in here looking at Zoho Learn. Um, so I'm here within the learning section. And in that learning section, uh, I currently don't have any of those records yet. So we can go ahead and create a new one. Now you can start this by creating a course or by creating a question bank. For us, let's go ahead and create a course. So maybe I want to create a course on CRM best practices. I'll give it a description. Okay, and so now we've created our course. Um, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go ahead and add a chapter here. Again, kind of starting from the beginning. Call this CRM basics actually. And so now that we've got our first little chapter here created on CRM basics, let's start loading in some of our content. Um, so maybe for our first content here, we want to call something, you know, lead management basics. We can create that. Now we can add some content to it. So maybe I want to add some blocks. Um, blocks are kind of a nice way to build out your content because they're multimedia. You don't have to pick, oh, this is just going to be text. It's just going to be a video, right? We can actually pick and choose which things we want to pull into this. Um, so maybe I would want to add some text here, call it something like, you know, our lead management. Call this, you know, unqualified potential prospects. So we want them to give it maybe a little header like that. And then we can create a list of items. And maybe we want to say something like we add in one of these headers. We can move this up, maybe call it lead. Give this a little title and we could say qualify on things like budget timeline product fit right we can kind of create these little course materials that walk through a particular concept and so as we're looking at this you can see i mean you can make these as long short you know as you need them to be um, in this case you know for the sake of brevity let's say that this is going to be our initial course um, and it's gonna walk them through some particular concepts. And so I'm gonna go ahead and save and close this. And that's gonna exit me out here back to the course overview. And so let's say now that we've created some of this content around lead management, maybe we wanna create a quiz that people are gonna take to review what they've learned. And so now I've created a new little section here for lead management and I can go ahead and add some content to it. In this case, I wanna make it a quiz. And here we're basically gonna go question by question to you know, identify what we wanna do. So maybe I wanna ask a question here for, you know, how is the lead module generally used? Um, we could say sending contracts for signature or qualifying inbound or outbound. 
And so we can go ahead and create these here as our potential options and then tell Zoho which one's the correct one. And then maybe I wanna add another question here and maybe do multiple choice for which of the following should be used for lead qualification. And so you wanna make these questions kind of line up with the things that you've taught in previous chapters where you're providing the content. And so in this case, maybe I wanna have a multi-select here and they can pick multiple. And I wanna say something like budget, location, uh, well, location could actually be a good one. Uh, let's think about, uh, let's see, birthday, so that would be incorrect. Budget would be correct, and timeline would be correct. And so we can create a bunch of different types of Q&A, right, that you can do to go ahead and um, give them the opportunity to test their knowledge. Um, so in this case now, I can go ahead and save and close. We're just going to do a quick little test there. Now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and preview this and kind of see how it looks. So I can get a top down on the course. From the preview, I can see all the different chapters as well as the content and assessments that are part of them. If I continue the course here, we can go ahead and see that, you know, it's given me this initial content around the lead management basics. These are gonna be some of those concepts that we find that we can use to uh, test our knowledge. And then once we're ready, we can go ahead and start this quiz. And so starting the quiz, I can go ahead and say, you know, maybe I'll get this one wrong and I'll get this one right. And I can now complete my quiz. And it's gonna give me now a little quick top down of what my score was. So I got one of these wrong. So my score was only one, whereas there were two total questions. And we can see you know, which ones we got right, which ones we got wrong based on you know, these responses at the very end. Now, kind of jumping back into setting up the course itself here, I'll go ahead and pull this up. Um, so here, you know, you're going to continue to expand and expand on these, you know, creating these multimedia kind of blocks here, videos, any of these different pieces of content, and then the relevant assessments for those. Um, in terms of the rest of setting up the course here, of course, you can give it a course overview. So this will cover CRM best practices. You can assign any particular learners that you wanna have for this. So if I want a particular person to go through this, maybe I would assign them so they would get notified and invited. And then lastly, you know, there's a whole bunch of settings here behind the scenes that we'll quickly cover. Um, so you can kind of at a top down set that course name and description. You can determine if there's a end date for this course. You can determine who should be able to enroll so maybe I just want anybody who's in Zoho Learn should be able to access this. So I could say that any hub user can do it, but maybe I want to approve just in case there might be some people that I want to check, hey, you know, is this worth your time to do this course? You can estimate how long it will take to complete a course. That just helps people kind of budget their time to get things done. Um, you can choose whether they should be able to jump around in the course or only go front to back. This can be useful if you set some requirements around uh, completing particular courses. Here, again, if you kind of want to force people through things, you would turn off the ability for learners to say that they've completed it on their own. And lastly, this is kind of new, but if you do want to give people a certificate of completion of this course, you go ahead and design and customize those uh, directly here within Zoho Learn. Um, last but not least here, over on the right-hand side, you can set up uh, some of the stuff around branding, kind of what's the look and feel going to be here. Um, you know, do you want to do any themes? Choose the navigation theme, dark or light. Give it a banner image if you'd like to. Um, you can add some co-authors if you want other people to be able to contribute to this. And lastly, you can create a whole kind of bank of resources. Maybe you want to drop in some attachments or relevant files that might help someone as they're reviewing this course. Um, but from there, if you'll believe me, that pretty much covers all of the core elements of creating a course. Um, naturally, there's kind of a lot more to this if you really wanna build out a full course, but this should give you the quick overview of how to get started 
again, just thinking about things in terms of the chapters, the you know kind of content or blocks that you want to provide people, and then those assessments that will give them the checkpoints to make sure that they're absorbing the material. Um, of course, I'd love to thank you for watching this video. Uh, we do really hope that you found the content useful. Um, if you have any questions, please go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. Um, we always try to answer those either directly from our YouTube page or on our weekly podcast, The CRM Zen Show, uh, which is also posted on YouTube. Um, before you go, we'd love if you would click that like and subscribe button. That really helps us out and it makes sure that uh, you see any of our new content as we continue to release those videos. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.